Yo, 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 what's up? It's Day Day here with another gameplay. Yeah, yeah. We got some pack openings for you. Listen, uh, the packs that you're about to watch, obviously, I have already opened. I just didn't have my webcam when I was doing it. I do apologize. I've had a lot of technical difficulties. Um, before we get into the video, I want to thank all y'all for y'all's support y'all been giving me. Uh, I ask you please go ahead and hit the like button. It does help out tremendously if you enjoy the video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you'll be notified whenever I go live and upload a video. Speaking of uploading, I mean, going live, I'm about to be doing that after this video. It is April 30th, uh, 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're able to see this video, I'm already live. So make sure you come and join in. We're going to be chasing some diamonds, picking up, and uh, seeing what we can unlock. Uh, while you're watching what I unlock uh, or what the cards that I get, which... Um, I'd feel really bad if I got some some really decent cards, but I really didn't get any decent cards from any of my pulls Other than the diamonds that you are able to unlock just by doing the programs and so on and so forth uh, so Me personally, I've been enjoying this game Tremendously. I, I love him over the show and I'm, I'm super excited about the fact that now it is on the Xbox and it's not just PlayStation which creates a bigger fan base and allows us to have more people to play against, uh, better comp I mean, more competition. I don't want to say better competition, but more competition. And also because I have an Xbox, I can continue to play the game. Whenever I decide to go to Xbox Series X and leave PlayStation, that uh, was one of the things I was a little sad about is I wouldn't be able to play MLB The Show. And now I get to play MLB The Show. So I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm going to get the bad out of the way, and then we're going to focus on the good for uh, my review of the game thus far. Uh, the, the bad that I've seen is what a lot of people have seen, significant server issues. However, comma, that has been fixed, which is super exciting. I mean, I was playing last night, and, and I noticed after the update, some, like, huge, huge difference. Or Was last night the update came out? Or, I guess technically this morning when I was playing, because I was playing early, early this morning. Um, but I'm able to open a pack, and it doesn't take forever, like you see in some of these clips, wherever I'm opening up packs, and it takes forever in a day for it to reveal the card that you got. And you guys have seen that, and it's just, it's just not, it's not good, you know. But they did fix that. Um, another issue that I was personally having, and I don't really know if anybody else was having, whenever I'd be doing these programs, especially moments. Um, a lot requiring you to get on base or extra base hits, you know, or even not home runs. Home runs is a different story, but I would get the hit and it wouldn't record it. So I'd have to start the whole thing over again. Um, or I'd get an extra, you know, I'd hit a double because it's calling for an extra base hit for the moment and it wouldn't record it. it. It would, I would just run to second base. I'd have no one out, um, in the moment and it just wouldn't record it. And I just, I couldn't, it, it, I was getting aggravated. So, obviously that was a glitch in the game. Uh, I don't know if it's been fixed or not. I've been able to complete almost every moment. I've unlocked all, uh, not all the cards. I'm finishing up the last player card, um, the, the starting pitcher. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now. But I just finished Eric Davis. Uh, I got the uh, Diamond Giambi card. And who else am I missing? Uh can't remember but none of the best uh i have finished uh all the rookie programs except for one or the player progression programs except for one but the moments was the, the the thing that aggravated me the most just because i would like i said i'd get the run so have you guys had that issue have y'all seen that personally where you hit a double play uh you know or you get your extra base hit and it doesn't count it um obviously if you got two people on base and one person gets out Obviously, it's not going to record it then, but whenever I would get it, it wouldn't count it, and it would aggravate me. And then another thing that the issue that I was having was a lot of the moments, if I needed to get a hit or get an extra base hit, the pitcher would never throw into the strike zone. Like, there was one time that I had to repeat a moment four times before I could finally get him to throw into the strike zone, and... Uh, it was it was one of the daily moments um, where I only had like only one at bat or something like that, and he would just never throw into the strike zone. And then one specific uh, time, 
I had multiple at bats where he never threw into the strike zone. It was just constant balls, and and it, it was obviously that's a glitch that you're not getting anything in the strike zone whatsoever. Um, you know, typically you will get uh, a ball here and there, but it, it won't be four consecutive balls and you walk every single time. And of course, obviously that doesn't count as a hit. So that was super frustrating to deal with. Um, and that's just the, the two biggest issues are those. I mean, that's really my only issues with the game. However, I have not played any ranked games yet. I do plan on uh, streaming that and recording that whenever I finally do that. I wanted to wait till my webcam was up and going. Uh, but, you know, other than that, I don't have any issues with the game. I, I'm absolutely enjoying it. Uh, I feel like it's a lot easier to get diamonds this year, and I think that's because there's a whole bunch of new players, and, and that's exciting because now – that skill gap's going to be kind of cl- – not the skill gap itself, but the base is going to be pretty much even. And then your skill, you know, mm-hmm. how good you are on the sticks is actually what's going to take you to the top more so than years prior. Because years prior, my luck at getting diamonds this early was, was slim to none. Maybe it's because I just didn't play that much Diamond Dynasty. Maybe it's because I didn't play – do that many programs. This is the first year that I'm really, like, getting into it and trying to learn everything I can about the game itself um but uh but you know well i lost my train of thought anyways like i said i'm enjoying the game um i haven't got any actual pulls of diamonds out of my cards and i did i've purchased every uh single i purchased five packs of um what was that thing? I'm, I'm going to look that up, actually. The headliners. I purchased five packs of headliners. I think all I got was two golds, and you'll see that. And I was like, man, I need, to, I need to pull a good diamond. Like, the card that I am personally chasing is, because I'm a huge, huge Braves fan. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We're we, we going to take it this year. We're going to take it this year. But the card I'm trying to pull is Acuna Jr., one of my favorite players of all time. Uh, I'd love to also get Freddie Freeman and Ozzy Albies, um, basically all the heavy hitters for uh, the Braves, which is what would be awesome. And I'm really excited at the fact that the um, one of the cards that's quote-unquote easy to get is Dansby Swanson, so I'm excited to unlock him. And that's going to be just doing the uh, – the affinity challenge, uh, which I think I might start during the live stream today. Uh, we're just going to see how it goes for the live stream. I, I don't really know the route they want to be taken, but what card are you guys looking forward to pulling the most? Like, obviously Chipper Jones is up there. You know, everybody, everybody wants Chipper Jones, but what quote unquote, like, I don't want to say quote unquote, but like, what regular card are you looking forward to getting? Uh, I mean, I can't think of a better player than than Acuna Jr. And that's a live series card. So the unfortunate thing is for the past couple of games, um, actually past couple, like the past couple of games he's been doing all right, but he's been getting walked a lot because he was really hot when the season started and then he got injured and came back. And it wasn't until the other night that he actually got his first legitimate hit because he kept getting walked. He kept getting hit and walked. Um, but he finally knocked one in the grandstands, and it was it was exciting to see that because you hate to see a player uh, go out when he's on a hot streak because of an injury. You know, eventually it's going to level out when you got a hot streak. You know, eventually you hit your plateau per se, but it, it's really unfortunate when you see the player get taken out of the game uh, or get his hot streak taken away simply because he was hit. All right now we're noticing that we have uh, seven packs left to open for this particular clip, and again, like I'm, I'm not pulling anything that's great. Uh, I, I get a couple silvers uh, for my equipment and a couple silvers for my players, but I'm not really getting any luck for uh, pulling diamonds. So right there, I got Brandon Lowe, uh, who's you know pretty decent, but I already have my second base stacked up. So um, right now, I'm needing a good center, and I'm needing a good shortstop and then I'll be pretty much set and since I just saw Nick Marcakis I'm 
very upset that he is just a bronze player because I feel like I feel like he's at least at least a gold player. Like I don't maybe it's because he retired this year. I don't know, uh, and he didn't really have the best season last year, so obviously it takes into player uh, takes into consideration because what. It might be the show, in case you don't know this. They go back three years. They see how you did over the course of three years, and then that's how they come up with your attributes because, you know, you can have a, an amazing year one year, and then you're just – you're not good next year. So this is almost – what you just saw is almost my complete lineup now. Nothing much has really changed, um, but there's – there's like one or two cards that's, that's different, and my lineup's just a little different now. Uh, I think this is the, we're getting like two more clips that we have to open up. And these are obviously from doing uh, some of the challenges. And this is not going to be in complete order because I couldn't remember uh, the exact order that it went. Uh, so these are kind of just thrown together. Uh, I do believe that the last clip that you're going to see is actually the last set of packs of, that I open. But from this point forward, I absolutely will be recording live as I upload the, I mean, open up the packs so you can see my reaction because I really, really want, I really want to get a diamond, my first diamond. Like, it's it's got to be coming, you know? Like, it's, <laughs> because after you open so many packs, you know, you, you, it, the game's got to get back to you, right? Like, that's that's what I got to believe. That I got to get my first diamond. But I remember last year when I was playing, I, I got two diamonds out of a pack. But again, granted, I didn't play Diamond Dynasty like that heavy like I am playing it this year because uh, I stayed into Warzone uh, and I stayed in the first person shooters years prior to last year. But this year, you know, I, I really want to uh, dive into the game and see how good I can get and see if I can make it to World Series at least once because the, the guys that play this game are, are insanely good at it. I mean, they've got seven plus years of experience the guys who are always getting the world series and, and i'm if you're watching me i'm almost certain you're watching some of them because I'm, I'm watching too to get tips uh because my biggest problem is timing i can see if it's going to be a strike most of the time i can see if it's going to be a ball uh most of the time I'd, I'd say out of 10 10 pitches thrown i'm at about if i'm being realistic about 60 percent of knowing if it's a ball or strike like it's pretty decent to me. Right? I'm trying to get up to 100% of knowing. But my timing, oh, that needs some serious work. Uh, when someone throws an off pitch to me, an off speed pitch to me, my timing is just horrible. If you throw a fastball and then go to a changeup or go to a curveball, it's a, it's a dead deal. And my worst pitch, 100% of the time, is a slider. I, I just don't know what it is about a slider. You could put it right down the center of the plate. You could leave it hanging all day, and I will miss it every time because the timing for me to get that, it, I just don't understand it. I, I mean, I understand it, but I just don't know how to get it. Like, I just, I've been trying to work on that. Um, and that's one thing I wish that they would put into the practice mode is allowing you to select what pitch the pitcher could throw. Like, I feel like that would be the best thing. And if you could set it to where there would be no balls, like they're just they're just throwing strikes, you know. So you could really harness uh, your skills. You could really figure out the timing. And then you could turn off those settings, and it would be a normal practice mode where they're throwing a ball. It could be throwing a strike. They could be leave it hanging. They could be leave it down, you know, down in the paint in the corner. But when it comes to sliders, that's my weakest pitch. Pitch. Yeah, pitch. <laughs> So what's y'all's weakest pitch? You know, like what, what do you what do you guys struggle with? Leave it down in the comments down below. So we got ten more packs open here, and then we got a baller pack. No luck with me whatsoever in the baller packs. Um, what is the best card that you guys have pulled right now? Uh, I think the best card that I have pulled is Azuna from the Braves, and uh, he's gold. You know, he's a gold card, so that's not that's not that bad. But it's not a diamond. I keep going back to that. I'm a little upset. This at San Diego Studios. Listen, I need you guys to give me, give, give me a good diamond. You know, give, give me, give me a good diamond. That's what I need. I'm not asking for Trout right out the gate. I'm not necessarily asking for uh, Acuna Jr. However, get at your boy. Yeah, throw it at your boy. I had an idea. Listen, San Diego, since you're listening, since you're watching this video, 
You should put it where we could put a card on the line. Uh, now I think about that. That's probably going along with gambling, so it probably wouldn't work. But wouldn't that be cool? If you could just... I think that would stop a lot of people quitting. But if you could put up a card, you know, if you lose, this person gets this card. And if you win, this person gets this card. And it has to be a specific, like, the higher you go, the higher tier it has to, at the very least, be. Could you imagine someone putting up a trout? Acuna Jr.? You know, you wouldn't be able to put up the Chipper Jones stuff because that's not sellable anyways. But, you know, you, do you understand that that person would not quit? And if you just dashboarded, or, uh, that's what it used to be called back on the Xbox. You know, but if you just disconnected, you lost that card. But then saying that out loud, I also see that if you got disconnected from the servers and it wasn't your fault, like you weren't quitting the game, you might have just lost that card. Both of y'all might have just lost that card. So thinking out, thinking about it out loud, there'd have to be a lot more stuff going to play if it was even legal. I don't know if it would be legal in order to uh, to do that. But you know what? That's going to do it for this video. Um, I want to thank y'all for, for tuning in. I ask that you please... I'm going to zoom this in for a minute. That's not the best editing, but we're going to work with it, all right? I ask you please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button. Don't, hit, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I go live. Again, if you are watching this video uh, and it's it's 1.30 right now, Eastern Standard Time, p.m., come to the live stream.